Hey, hi, my name is Bob Zimmer, and I'm the founder and president of the Baseball Heritage Museum. We're very glad you're able to come with, join us today. The museum actually moved here from downtown Cleveland in 2014, and we're now at what we consider home to Cleveland baseball. It's where the Indians started their, their careers, and um, where the 1920 championship took place, and you're inside the ticket house the second generation original ticket house to the ballpark. What we're looking at here today is a 1936 De Beers stitching clamp. All baseballs are hand stitched, so you, in order to stitch the ball, you couldn't hold the leather and stitch at the same time, so they came up with a device like this that where you could clamp the ball using your feet, clamp it, stitch it, and then move it to the next, to the next stop. Today, they're still hand stitched, but the process has been automated. So instead of a foot-operated device, there is an electronic device that clamps the leather and allows the, the, um, the person to hand-stitch the ball. And I guess the big question is, how many stitches are there on a ball? And that's the challenge for everybody out there. So if you want to come to the Baseball Heritage Museum and let us know how many you think are on this ball, we'd be happy to welcome you to the museum.